So Rob, we know the importance of networking is key these days, you know, building relationships, as we talked about previously on LinkedIn before applying for a job, but still some students or new immigrants to, to the country, they feel that they don't know how to do. Or when they attend uh, workshops, even online or in person, hopefully soon, they're afraid to approach people. So what tips do you have for people who are kind of networking is not natural for them? Yeah, that's a great question. I, I mean, I think networking is not natural for a lot of us. Yes. And, yeah. uh, but I do appreciate when I think about uh, international students or immigrants, mm -hmm. I, I think about like myself, like I, yeah, I was born in Canada, but as a minority and thinking about just my own upbringing where, you know, told to respect people, like who am I to talk to you, that sort of deal, right? Yeah. And and so it's maybe not natural for, yes. for me. So I think sometimes the reframes, it's like reframing networking, yeah. right? And um, the number one thing is, what's the worst case scenario? <laughs> uh, the worst case scenario is they don't talk to you, which yeah. hurt, which hurts. I'm not yes. going to deny that. But I think of the times where I haven't said anything versus the times I did, because you can't predict yeah, what who doing. or what is going yeah. to lead to that next experience. Yeah. So one way I think some people can think about is like, you're just trying to increase your odds when job search is already very difficult. Yeah. Another reframe is, you know, I like leading with curiosity, like lots of questions of curiosity, right? Yeah. And, and actually think about the person, not the job. Yeah. I think if we're leading with a job that again, puts a lot of pressure. Again, that's like, you know, I use the final, ex like, you know, studying as an example, because yeah. I work with university students and alumni, but that would be like, I need this A, right? Uh -huh. That puts a lot of pressure on you. Yes. Whereas it's more like, hey, do what, what do I know? What, what, what can I demonstrate? Or what can I ask those sort of things? If you're talking to someone, I think that's like, you know, approach a final exam, like, do I know the concepts? And then hopefully I get the grade because deep down inside, we still want the job, right? Yeah. We still yeah. want the A. Yeah. But I think if we're thinking about that first, that's hard. And number one is start small. Like, why not speak to someone in your class or on a, like, you know, in a club or those sort of things where, you know, maybe it's a little bit safer. We run a, you know, at UBC, I work at the Faculty of London Food Systems. We run a mentorship program. Like, you know, there's programs at every university, yeah. many companies that allow you to practice just speaking with people. But I think the number one thing is you to be comfortable. It's more like you have to practice speaking and talking to people or typing to people. Yeah. And uh, it can be done. I, I was a, I'm an introvert and I never spoke to anybody until my third year university. And now my job is paid to speak and present. Right. So like, it's a skill. It's just, we yes. forget that it's a skill and it takes time. It takes a lot of reps, just like yeah. anything else. Yeah. I always tell people I'm uh, advising that identify, have in mind as a curiosity and maybe identify that I need to speak with three new people and ask questions about themselves. You no, know, I would always say like, what, the, what, what brought you here today? Or what do you want to learn from this workshop or from this gathering? And then, Talk about themselves, you know, about their job, about their work, and not asking them about job because the job will come later because you want to build that relationship. Or if you're yes. attending online, we know that there's a chat box. You can put your LinkedIn uh, uh, URL there or maybe start building relationship, talk with people there and build relationship from there. Yeah, it's there's so many different strategies, right? So. I really like that where, again, you know, you've got some specific questions. So like, yeah, you can write those out and practice them. Yeah. You might sound very wooden and rehearsed at first and that's okay. Like you're yeah. going to try it again. Like there's, what is that social rule that we think everyone's thinking about us, but no one really is. Right. Yeah. So I'm not saying that in a way to be mean to yeah. everyone, but it's just like, we are internalizing so much yet, yeah. you know, often the people at that same event are feeling the same thing right so it's like you, you can play a part of like making someone else feel comfortable and yeah. that's networking too yeah. so um it, the it, the most important thing is it's actually just doing it just right? having a conversation yeah. yeah but it's hard it's you know it takes time it takes, time. It takes, time. It, it takes a lot of time yeah, yeah especially yeah. if you're not comfortable speaking 
the language and and these sort of things, right? Yeah. But um, yeah. I guess you meet just one person at every event, and then turn one to two, and then turn two to three, and then you can go from there again on LinkedIn, as we talked about previously. If you're following companies and they are posting and then they're having conversation in the comments section, there's also an opportunity to network because both of you are having same ideas towards this company. That's why you're commenting and you can build a relationship from there. Yeah, I, I mean, you're, you're right about that. And, you know, just to share with people, like when I first started on LinkedIn about four, you know, four and a half years ago, really using it a lot, like, yeah, I would rarely comment you know and be really scared and then later on i got it easier and now i, I maybe do it too much i don't know but you know <laughs> like you, you just feel more comfortable it doesn't mean i'm always going to do it well but yeah. you certainly yeah it's you you're just like oh i can do this right yeah, yeah. thank you for those great tips Rob. again for the audience who is watching or listening if you have any other tips in terms of networking Leave them below and tune in next time for my final question.